I was cleaning the studio the other day and I realized that I have way too much of something. The brick separator. I mean, these things come in so many sets. Do you think it should actually come in that many sets? Or do you think it should be maybe like a dollar standalone piece that you buy when you need one? What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Even though I have way too many of these things, I actually really do love them. They come in handy and I could probably do an entire video on you know, all the different tools and tips and techniques and tricks that you can do with these things, but that's not what today is about. Today is about the city update, which has been a couple weeks in the making. The last time we did an update, it was the beginning of March, and I told you then that there were some uh, shipping delays due to BrickLink and the whole USPS thing that's going on right now. Um, that being said, I have received all of the orders and I've been able to make some huge updates to the city. And I'm really excited to share those with you today. The updates include a brand new skyscraper that was added to the north end of the city, um, stickers, which I did cover in a previous video, but I'm gonna go over again today briefly, and some other improvements such as a bike lane, uh, some street upgrades, and some beautification projects that include the greenery um, and the median of the street and moving some things around. So with all that being said, let's dive on in and let me show you everything that's happened in the last three weeks. All right guys, so as you just saw, here's the brand new skyscraper. It's called Corporate Plaza and it sits right on Coast Highway, which is the main thoroughfare for the city. It is a tan building with a glass facade and uh, each floor has individual windows as well as kind of the main lobby area for each floor has a glass front, which is the corner of the building. It comes down to the street corner with, yeah, you can see the minifigs walking in and out and panning around you can kind of see some of the uh, street details that surround the building. It's the headquarters of the Brick Bank which is a corporation that was made up for my city. Um, I thought that it made a great bank name and it's going to be used on ATMs and branch offices going forward. There's a lot of greenery and a palm tree in front. I wanted to make it as realistic as possible and next to it will be additional skyscrapers to fill in the skyline. Again, we put the logos on using the sticker method that I put in a video a couple weeks ago, so make sure you check that out if you haven't already. And now moving down towards the rest of the city, you'll notice that all the streets are now completed for the most part. Uh, during the last overview, a lot of the streets hadn't even been you know, laid out yet. So now we've made a lot of progress kind of laying out the city. This isn't the final layout, but we're getting pretty close. And you'll see that a lot of street details have been added. I mean, if you go back to our first video, you can see how bare it was compared to what we're at now, where we have sidewalks, I've set up little scenes with cars being added, um, such as this you know, spot where somebody got pulled over, we've got people walking on the streets, greenery, and new is also this construction site, which I wanted to show you guys as well. So the construction site is kind of a placeholder for now until a new building is added, but I wanted to make it as detailed as possible because I'll probably use, be using this and moving it around the city. You know, as uh, buildings are built and I still have some voids, I'll be putting this where the voids are and replacing it with buildings. What's nice about it though is it actually is a great little placeholder and it's probably close to the size of the building that's going to go right here, not height wise, but layout wise. You can see the little guy adding the window as well. I really like how that came out. And you know some of the inner details back here. So overall, I'm happy with it. It was a quick little you know, thing that I threw together that I thought would be a nice little addition to the city in the forefront for now. Again, it's probably gonna be moved you know, uh, down the road. In the future, I'd also like to add different base plates. The white base plates are on sale on Amazon right now, so that's why you see a lot of those, but I'd like to change them to more of a mud or construction site color and just clean it up a little bit. But this will all be replaced with buildings in the future, as well as a park right here on the right where you see the green laid out. Also over here is our Bobcat, which we did a free tutorial on. You can find that on our channel under Lynx Cat. And this crane is just a modification of one that LEGO came out with.
So now that you've seen some of the details of the construction site, you probably saw in the background, um, you know, while I was moving the camera around, you can kind of see it peeking through right now, that little kitchen build. If you haven't seen it yet, a couple weeks ago, actually, no, sorry, about a week ago now, we did the kitchen build, which is where I built my own kitchen. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll link it up above, but it shows you exactly how to build this exact kitchen and the techniques that went in to making it. And moving on to the other part of the city, I wanted to show you the bike lane that I put in. Um, this was something that I added later on. I actually had built the road fully and then I was like, you know what, I need a bike lane. And I wanted to add a little signal as well and just you know make the detail as high as possible. I love the addition to the city. I think it makes it a lot more um, inviting and liv livable and a little bit more realistic. So that'll run pretty much perpendicular to the main boulevard and it'll take you straight to the beach once the beach is built. Right next door is the Starbucks and Skyloft building, which you guys have seen in a few Instagram posts and the sticker video that we did a couple weeks ago. Um, the base of the Starbucks, the flooring has been put in, but the build out is not finished yet. That's gonna come soon. There will be a full interior. But for now, it's just the Skyloft lettering that was added via the stickers that we did. Um, and some of the details around the base of it, including the greenery, the hedges, and some of the minifigs, you know, walking around, uh, as well as you know, the logos and all that. Quick update as well, the parts room, you know, that we did a video on and I'll link up above. Uh, we got some more storage containers to do even more sorting. And as you can see, it's getting even more filled up now. So it's starting to really come together and I'm loving how that's turning out. Another project important to me was cleaning up the median and adding a lot of greenery and beautification. Um, I moved some of the palm trees around so that I could better film the buildings and I like how the new layout works. It kind of moved the palm trees to the middle near the construction site for now and opened up the ends with smaller palm trees on each end and then in the middle there's flowers and bushes. Um, again the palm trees were also a free tutorial on our channel so if you go to our channel and just search palm tree you can see how to make these. Super easy, super simple, and it doesn't use as many pieces as some of the other tutorials out there, so it should save you some money. Um, and I like the little details on top and how these turned out. They've also been super sturdy. I find myself knocking them quite often with cameras and they don't come off or come over. Other projects have been adding stickers to like the taxis and all the uh, vehicles you see around the city. I wanted to make sure that those were as realistic as possible and you know add as much detail as possible. The taxis were a free build. You can find that on our channel. We also added buses. There's two built so far with more on the way. Those have stickers added as well. Instructions for these can be found on our website, www.afwellstore.com. You can download the PDF instructions and the parts file. And you can't have a bus without having a bus stop, so we put a bus stop in um, towards the other end of the city where a lot of the new development's gonna be going. As you can see, there's a carve out in the street which allows for the bus to pull over, a little sign up above, and a cool little tree that brick design uh, made. You can find him on Instagram. He has an awesome, awesome Instagram account with a ton of awesome tutorials. And then, yeah, this is pretty much just going to stay a heavy construction area until the bridge is built over to the new rural area. All of these barriers and construction cones and construction barrels can be found on our YouTube channel. Uh, those were free tutorials done a couple weeks ago. Actually, probably a couple months ago by now. Uh, but you can see some of the details really starting to come together. Another really cool feature was this incline that I put in. I found out that the new road plates that LEGO came out with actually bend just slightly. And you can raise them by about one plate per segment. So it gradually slopes from one plate down at the bottom all the way up to a brick and a plate at the end. This is going to lift the roadway up over the bridge in the future. And I'm really happy with how it's coming out. Even though it's a slight incline, you can't really tell. Um, you know, it doesn't really make any bricks stand out or not snap together, which is fantastic. I'm really happy with that. And none of the cars really roll because it's such a you know, small and slight incline. So it's gonna allow for more spacing between the bridge and the water. And it just adds a little bit more depth to the city, which you know, I really like how that's coming out. And those were the primary major updates for the city. We had the skyscraper, the bike path, the median updates, all the roads completed and put together, a lot of vehicles added. Um, and you know the construction site got a lot more planned and really happy with how everything's turned out uh, let us know in the comments what you guys think you know we really are excited with the direction that this is headed and can't wait to show you guys more builds and that's about it I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video and all of the updates that we've made over the last few weeks 
There are so many planned and upcoming, so I'm gonna try and do these videos as often as possible, but again, it you know really just depends on when I get these shipments from BrickLink and all the parts and pieces that are needed to build uh, things for the city for the videos. Um, a few different things that were covered in the video today were stickers, which again, we've done a video about uh, a couple weeks ago, so you can find it on the channel. I'll link it you know down in the description below. Um, covered some of the different mocks that have come out, which are both free on our YouTube channel, such as the taxis, and some other ones that are included on our website where you can actually download the PDF instruction files like the bus. That is www.aflstore.com. We are actually currently running a promotion. You can get a discount. Uh, check out our Instagram for the discount code. That is afwell.tv. Um, lastly, if you would, consider subscribing if you don't already. We'd really appreciate you coming along this journey and, and joining our growing community. We love hearing from you guys and all the different comments and suggestions that you have. And last but not least, if you don't already, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. So with that being said, I think that pretty much covers everything for today. We'll see you next time and thanks for tuning in.